Highest Wire, GamblersAdvisory.com. You know, occasionally boxing, which is absurd to begin with, sometimes even exceeds itself in the level of complete ridiculousness. I've just heard that one Manuel Lopez was suspended a year for criticizing a referee, calling him a gambler after a fight in which Lopez got stopped and no doubt wasn't completely lucid, had just suffered a concussion when he was interviewed after the fight. Now, to put the year suspension in perspective, understand that here in the United States, we regularly have fights in hockey matches where the combatants literally are back on the ice in a matter of days. In baseball, one time, Roberto Alomar spat on an umpire, and for that he was given a five-game suspension. Five games. Now, how boxing, a sport in which, after fights, some guys openly curse in comments conveyed to the crowd. If you ever listen to Chris Ariola after a fight, it's unclear whether you're listening to a boxer's post-fight interview or whether you're listening to a Richard Pryor or Chris Rock concert, right? Now, you're going to tell me in boxing that because a combatant criticized the referee, you're going to suspend him an entire calendar year. That is ridiculous. You know, I don't know what happened to the sport. You know, guys used to be able to criticize judges openly. Would, would anyone here have blamed Gabriel Campillo if he would have openly lamented the uh, scoring by the judges and literally pointed to rounds in which the judges made poor calls after his fight with Tavares Cloud, right? We've had other fighters, Zab Judah comes to mind, get so upset at a referee that he literally had to be separated from the referee at the end of his loss to Costa Zoo. And so now all we have is Juan Manuel Lopez making statements accusing the referee of being a gambler. I saw it live when it happened um, on TV or on the net and all I thought at the time, literally all I thought, was that uh, this was a proud champion who was upset who believed that he should have been giving, given additional time in the fight, right? That the fight should not have been stopped where it was stopped. I'm not saying his behavior was perfect. I'm not saying he's a Boy Scout. I'm not saying he shouldn't be fined or perhaps, um, you know, asked to talk to kids um, about the importance of sportsmanship. I'm not saying that a penalty like that isn't warranted. But 12 months? I thought this was boxing. I thought, I thought this was a sport where the combatants literally, you know, call each other names before a fight. I thought this was a sport where one time with an open mic, a fighter once said to an HBO analyst right after the fight, you don't know blank about boxing. And wasn't suspended a day. I mean, when you're when you're watching boxing, you're expecting high jinks at weigh-ins, in interviews, and things like that. You know, Ali once said, you know, I'm going to beat this guy so bad, his kinfolk back in Africa will feel it. And all I'm saying is that's, I mean, that's boxing smack. People are talking stuff all the time. People are calling people crooks, liars, thieves, three blind mice I've heard judges called at times. You know, the speech is salty. Boxing is an adult sport. 
right? I mean, that's that's just the way it is. And so now we've reached the point where a Derek Chisora can get suspended indefinitely for leaving the podium at a post-fight press conference, right, where he doesn't throw a punch until he's attacked, right? Now we've reached the point where you don't even have to be involved in an altercation, right? All you have to do is criticize a referee after a fight. This is ridiculous. You know, I hope Lopez appeals this. I hope the referee has the common sense to ask the powers that be who issued this suspension to reconsider. You know, typically what happens in moments like this is the uh, fighter and the alleged victim, in this case the referee, make joint appearances and make light of the incident so that people around them learn the deeper logic behind sportsmanship. Um, you suspend a guy with loaded gloves for a year. You don't suspend a guy for verbal abuse for a year. That's not the way boxing works. And let me just point out, you know, if you're not going to fine uh, Chris Ariola for using expletives in a uh, mic'd post-fight interview in front of fans, how could you possibly suspend Lopez for a year for making saucy, salacious accusations in a post-fight interview. Let's go one step further. If you're going to find a guy for his post-fight comments, then aren't we literally going to reach a point where fighters won't give post-fight interviews? Right? Because the fighter will say, hey, you know, why should I say anything if I've just been knocked out? My night's already been pretty bad. Why do I want to make this worse by being asked questions when I'm, you know, uh, when I've been on the canvas, I've already been beaten up literally, and, um, you know, now I have to go through an interview. So let's not, let's not monitor speech like this. Let's not go in this direction, okay? Let's not find guys for stuff that takes place after the fight in this manner. Certainly not suspend them, okay? A fine, maybe. Suspension, you've got to be kidding me. What they're really doing is they're denying the fans the opportunity to see a world-class fighter for the next year. Right, based on an interview the fighter didn't ask for. Right, an interview thrust upon him by the TV media outlets. I'm all for Lopez, who's already apologized to the referee, publicly stating that he made a mistake. I'm all for that. Maybe a donation to the referee's favorite charity. I'd be game for that. But suspensions, you've got. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. They don't suspend people this amount of time for this kind of conduct in fan-friendly sports like baseball. How could they possibly do that in boxing? Let me even go one step further. You know that even steroid users in the major leagues, their first suspension is supposed to be something like 50 games, not 12 months. Right here you have a guy who fought a clean fight. He's not even being accused of fighting a dirty fight. He loses the fight. He's upset at the referee. He makes some unfortunate remarks. Right? You've got to be kidding. You don't suspend this guy for 12 months. That's ridiculous. Verbal remarks shouldn't warrant a suspension in any event. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here online. Let's talk about it and visit us, of course, at gamblersadvisory.com and theboxinggame.blogspot.com 
where we discuss outside the ring issues. Thanks for watching.